Hello everyone, and welcome back to Midnight Mycology, your late night study center for mushroom cultivation. Today, we're going to prepare a simple yet effective substrate recipe to take your grain spawn to the next step. The only ingredients we'll be using today are cocoa wire and vermiculite. We will not be using gypsum in this video because from personal experience, the results were not worth the extra money spent. Before we begin, let's go over the materials we'll need to make our substrate. First, we'll need cocoa core. We'll also need vermiculite. We'll need water. And we'll need a stock pot. Additionally, since we need to maintain a sterile work environment, we'll also need rubber gloves and isopropyl alcohol. Depending on how much substrate you need, you may have to modify the recipe accordingly. However, for this video, we will be using 325 grams of cocoa core, four cups of vermiculite, and eight cups of water. And that's really all there is to it. So let's go ahead and clean our work area now. Now that our work area is clean, we can go ahead and start preparing our substrate. The first thing we'll need to do is put eight cups of water into our stock pot. Our next step is to bring the water up to a boil. This part can take a couple minutes, so I'll go ahead and fast forward to the next step. Alright guys, now that the water is to a rolling boil, I'm going to go ahead and add the cocoa core and vermiculite now. Now I'm going to turn the stove off, just like I did. And I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours to let the temperature cool down and let all of the water absorb into the cocoa core. So after 24 hours is up, we'll be back. 24 hours later. Alright guys, now that it's been 24 hours, our substrate is cooled off. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it to make sure there are no dry clumps. When you are ready to use your substrate, make sure you are maintaining proper field capacity. This can be done by squeezing the substrate until barely any water comes out. If it's too wet, you increase the risk of contamination. If it's too dry, you risk your grow stalling out. As for storage, substrate can be stored and used for a later time. I have personally used substrate that has been stored for over a month. However, experiences may vary, and the longer you wait, the higher you run the risk of contamination. And that concludes today's video of how to make substrate for mushroom cultivation. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, subscribe to the channel below and click the notification bell to get notified anytime a new video is posted. Thanks for watching.